Hi, this is Anthony in upstate New York, and this is my first update video actually in a couple of years. Um, so these videos were originally intended for private consumption between myself and my cousin uh, who lives in the UK. Um, but so many people have found the video, I don't know how, um, and have actually subscribed. Um, I thought, okay, well, maybe now is an opportunity for me to share more information on this hobby of mine. Um, and help people build, you know, if you want to listen in lossless uh, format uh, to help help people build a high capacity iPod. So here is the half terabyte unit that we built, well I built a few years ago. Here's the batteries that we've been using up until now, these upstart batteries, they're an 850 milliamp hour battery, so just a standard iPod battery. And um, this is the original iFlash card that I had in the first iPod that I built, I got it apart because I'm actually now changing out the battery. Same as what I've done on the half terabyte unit. Um, and here's, here's, here's what, you know, the 850 milliamp hour battery looks like out of the box. So I'm going to move my props to one side for just a second. And I'm going to open up the... Uh, half terabyte iPod and maybe I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see better um, so this iPod like I said we built about I don't know two two and a half years ago and our average battery life with this style of battery uh, is about four to six months which eh, is okay but not great so with a little bit of research I was actually able to find these batteries um, this is a uh, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. So you go from 850 to 3,000. That's you know three and a half times the capacity. So this this type of battery is kind of like an iPad size of, of battery in terms of capacity. So would be a great power source for our modified iPod. So I actually went online. I ordered them from China on eBay and have spent some time fiddling to get it to fit. And uh, let me grab another prop here. So this is what the battery would look like outside of the box, uh, outside of the package I mean, and the fitting it actually is pretty simple. Um, there's a piece of foam just under here, you remove the piece of foam, you can slide the battery up underneath, and then what I've done is I've added a piece of tape here, and down at the bottom to the side a piece of tape uh, to hold the battery in place so it doesn't move around during installation, and then I've left this area here uh, open and free um, and you'll understand why this is for this grounding strip here so it can ground against the case of the iPod and in my next video um, I'll explain why that is so what you basically do is you take this um, flap here you can bend it up and then just hold it in place with some tape and uh, that enables you then to make this, this space in this area. What's nice about this setup with these new batteries is that, you know, here's our old battery. It would sit here. And that takes up quite a bit of physical space inside the case. Um, so by moving that out the way, I've got a pretty significant open space now within my iPod case. And one of the uh, folks that found my video had asked about, you know, have I considered a um, Bluetooth, internal Bluetooth transmitter as part of my modification. So now I've got this space created. Actually, I'm seriously thinking about on my, the one terabyte unit that I've been working on for God knows how long, um, but I've got most of the parts for. I might consider now doing that mod and adding it inside the case. Um, fitting the battery, uh, as I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, plugging it in is a little bit fiddly. I'm going to try to do it on the video, and hopefully um, folks can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to stretch my cable out a little bit, and you can see at the end I bent it almost at a 90-degree uh, angle here, the tip where it plugs in. And so basically what you do is you take the two pieces of the iPod, uh, you flip it over, plug your end in here, and I apologize, it's really hard to do this on a video and show people. Um, but let me just fit it in. Let's see if I can do it. 
um, fit it into the uh, the slot like that press it down and you're good to go I'm not going to snap the two halves together um, but then you get the power on and hopefully my iPod will cooperate there you go you can see it booting up there you go so sorry stomping Tom Connors that's just my test music so if I go all the way back uh, I go to settings I go to about there you have it we've got our 446 gigabyte still um, and basically our iPod's ready to go um, unfortunately because of the issues my cousin had with it I had to do a deep format um, on the solid state drive and so basically I had to wipe everything off of it um, but you can see here um, I just I just have a regular laptop it's a Dell laptop so I used um, just regular Windows formatting and uh, even though this is an Apple device it worked just fine so there you have it um, 3000 milliamp hour battery installation um, on our modified half terabyte iPod and fingers crossed these batteries are gonna last for a long time like I'm hoping years it, they certainly have more than enough capacity so thanks everybody um, for finding my videos and uh, I'll, uh, I'll be posting my next video on battery life probably in the next next few weeks thanks so much and then have a great rest of your day